Coach, go ahead with your opening statement. I think I said the same thing last night. Great college baseball game. Unfortunately, we come up on the other side of it. Um, just two really good teams playing in a great environment and uh, for everything on the line. And um, tip your hat to those guys. They got a big hit late when they needed it. And, um, you know, we, we, that's about it. Okay. We'll start in front of the left. Uh, Hunter Steve Robertson with Gene's Base 247 Sports. Yeah, take us through that first at bat, the one you hit out. What were you looking for? What did you get? Uh, I don't know. I was just sitting for something over the plate. First pitch hitter. Hunter, I mean the, the defensive plays that you guys made today. Um, you know how big was that? I'm, I know the, the outcome being what it is, but in the middle innings there to to kind of keep that lead and making the plays that y'all did. I mean, how big do you feel like that was for you guys? It was good, you know, kept the momentum on our side. But, uh, yeah, I mean, kept kept a close game, kept it competing. So, get to another part right here. Hunter, obviously, you know, one of the leaders on this team now facing elimination. What's kind of the message about, you know, bouncing back and going into potentially, you know, one or two games tomorrow? Oh, you got to win. Pretty simple. We're going to go home. So, we want to win. Shotgun, and then we'll take one back on the front. Shotgun, if you want baseball. Hunter, will, you, will they bring a lefty to face you? Or are you looking for a specific pitch? Is it scouting report based on that individual guy? Or is there something just in general for lefty? Yeah, so lefty comes in. Uh, he does a lot of slaughters. He had a really good slaughter. Uh, I tried to get up in the box. It's a slaughter, but probably swung at a bad pitch and rolled over. Hunter, the mentality changes now. Now you're thinking about winning the next game and you know, trying to get this thing to Monday. I mean, so does it help kind of knowing what you need to do and rather than just kind of hoping that you win a ball game tomorrow night? Uh, I don't know. I think. Uh, we have the same mentality every time we go out there just to win. So um, it just puts a little bit more on the line this time. So uh, yeah, we just gotta win. Hunter, you and DJ both obviously went through your struggles to get the hits that you've been able to get the last two days. And how, what has that done for you, you think, on um, the last couple of days to kind of get you back where you want to be? Yeah, that struggle is tough, but uh, just gotta put your head down and keep working. Uh, it's been the whole season for me. Maybe I can come out of it and, and get hot for us and play some ball games. Did you feel like you were pretty close? I mean, we saw a couple of balls hit on the screws at, at the SEC tournament and a couple last night too. Did you feel like you were close to seeing that drop? Yeah, it's just uh, how baseball goes. You know, they weren't falling for me at the time. Uh, maybe they'll still fall. Take one of the Hunter, you guys have been on both sides of these games, you know, thrilling wins and close losses. I guess just how much do you feel like that experience, you know, throughout this regular season has prepared you to you know, bounce back from this one? Uh, we've done it a lot. Um, uh, we're a tough team, so we just got to put our heads down, like I said, win them all. Okay. All right. Thanks, Hunter. You can stay. We can head back to the clubhouse. We can take questions now for Coach. Take one in the back. Uh, I think Chris Mike Barber from Richmond Times Dispatch. In terms of what you've been able to do tonight, holding their lineup down until that ninth inning, what did you like in your pitcher's approach? And uh, that takes through kind of the last of that there. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I thought Durangelo was great, like he always is. I mean, it was a classic matchup of good pitching against good hitting, right? And I think, I think they got him a little bit, and I think he got them a little bit and really carried it through the game. And I thought Tyson was pretty good for us late. I mean, uh, and we have the opportunity to make that play late. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the hard part. But, we, you know, we made so many throughout the day. I think our defense really kept us on the, kept us in the game in there. And then, um, you know, you got to credit their hitters. I thought the guy that opened up the, was it the ninth with the double in the gap, I mean, that was a great swing. Puts a lot of pressure on you when you're the uh, other team. Okay, take one in the back. Chris, uh, obviously with the, the stakes that are uh, on the line tomorrow, how, how confident are you in, in your guys uh, playing with the backs to the wall? I feel like our backs have been against the wall since week one. So uh, I don't worry about that as much. Um, you know, I've, I've done this long enough. I've had an opportunity to win a regional in a lot of different ways. And, and I've, I've been on the side where you got to win three, three in a row. And I said, uh, unfortunately, you can only focus on the game at noon tomorrow. And, and that's what i got to get our guys to focus on. And then we'll figure out the next game. And, and you just try to build momentum as the weekend goes on. And uh, we played a good game tonight. I mean, that was, man. Uh, you have to tip your hat to them. They, they just beat us, but, man, we didn't give them anything, and they didn't give us anything, and it was a fight. And, 
I'm not disappointed in our group at all. It's just sometimes baseball comes out that way. Uh, tomorrow we got to come out and do the same thing tomorrow morning. We played really, really, really good baseball here. Um, we got to come out at noon and, and play great baseball tomorrow, and then figure it out from there. Yeah, okay, take one on the far left. Robert Edmund from Columbus this past uh, coach had runners, two runners left on in the past three minutes. How other people is that? Yeah, that's kind of the difference in the ball game, right? I mean, you got to drive those runners in with two outs, and uh, we joke all the time, two out hits, man, win championships, and um, you, you got to get them. And, and we just, you know, you, it's not about always driving in the run, but you'd like to have good at-bats where you feel like you had, you, you control the, the, the counts and you, you know, put a good swing on a ball, and we really didn't in some of those. I feel like we kind of chased and tried to do a little too much. So um, we got to be better at it tomorrow. Take one. Right. You talked about you know focusing on that first game tomorrow. I guess just where you, get, you know what gives you the confidence that you know this team can you know look at it as not needing to win three in a row, but you know do that same thing of focusing on that first game. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm trying. I'm convincing myself, I guess, but uh, that's my job. I got to convince these guys to come out and be really good in the first tomorrow. You can't think about what the whole day is or anything like that. You gotta you gotta win the first inning and, and be in the moment and and. Go out there and play great against St. John's, and then give yourself a chance to play in the championship tomorrow night. And then just build, you just, you just build it, you know. So um, that, that'll be my job, what I got to do tonight and tomorrow morning. Take another one. Where, what did you think Durangelo was coming in the seventh inning? Did you guys feel comfortable with, with him making it through that seventh there? Yeah, we did. We did. They had two balls that kind of fell in holes, you know. Uh, you know, that's the, and hey, we had, they had, we took a couple away tonight that were hit really good, but at that point, the first two swings kind of, just two kind of a little bit of a weird plays, and then um, you know, was it Becker that guy killed us tonight. Mm -hmm. I think he drove in about everything. So um, you know that guy got us. And uh, but I, I thought Tarantula was really good. You made the switch with Amani and, and Bryce. Obviously, it kind of helped Bryce keep going. But kind of what was your thought process there, putting those guys in order? Well, just try. You know, Amani has the ability to get a walk, get an HBP, plus get a hit. You know, where Bryce is more of your swing swing first guy, and it's just been a lot of swing and, and, and not a lot of, you know, just pitch counts and, and quality at bats. So uh, Bryce was so good in that spot behind Isaac, that, and I thought he was good tonight in that spot. You know, he had a couple of hard, you know, a couple of hits and another hard hit ball and a hit and run. Uh, I thought he was really good there. Okay, take one on the part of that. Great. Yeah, Chris, what made you better? Uh, something you talked about. Um, and you know, in the, the last hit, we fall behind 2-0, so he gets a fastball, um, I would think. But, I, I, you know, just just put a couple good swings on. I mean, their lineup, that's why they're here and that's why they're hosting is, I mean, there's not an out in there. You know, you're, you're, you're fighting through a really uh, – uh, you know, we played Tennessee last week and we played them this week. I, I would have to argue those are probably two of the best offenses in the country. And, uh, you know, you, you get through a couple and you take a deep breath and then you got another guy like Becker who, who hurts you. Was Nate uh, available tonight to come out of the bullpen? He was. He was. So he'll be available tomorrow too. Check it. Chris, what, what's the biggest challenge of going through an emotional game like this and trying to flip it to come back for a early game? Getting some sleep, getting a little hydration, getting the get them to eat. I mean, they're pissed and, and they're you know. So it's it's hard to unwind after some of these games. You know, I mean, it really is. It's hard to unwind. Um, so we got we got to get them back, get them rested, and just come out here and. and Play tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. Hopefully, that's a, that's our plan. And so, um, I think that's the that's the hardest part. Is just keeping the bodies as fresh as you can. Okay, we've got time for two more right in front here, and then the I think right the here. runner was moving there, and it's kind of a weird hop too. But what was your perspective of that play with, with Amani there at the end? We probably got about as good a ball as we could get at that point because we were still discussing in our dugout. And then you got first and third. You know, we we have what we call a speed and read, which is you know you're playing for the double play and possibly getting the guy at the plate. Then you got the third lead off, who's a jet. I don't know if you're turning on that guy at any point, you know. And then we probably got about the only ball that possibly could have been made, but it's still a tough play and just kind of caught up on Amani. But um, yeah, that, that's the hard part when you have such a great athlete as, as O'Farrell at the plate. Um, you're, you're, you're really having to, you know, make some tough decisions. And you're having to give up something because he's such a good runner. Right. Pitching plans for tomorrow? Uh, Brooks Auburn will go game one. So we got him available and uh, then we'll go from there.